magnified photography is a technique that can be used to produce scale drawings from photographs. The process involves altering the geometry of a photograph so that all the vertical lines are vertical and the horizontal lines are horizontal. You also take out any distortion in the image caused by the camera lens and you're also adjusting the scale of the photograph so that there is the right relationship between horizontal distance and vertical distance. This can involve expensive cameras and software but for simple flat elevations reasonable results can be got using the following technique. Rectification needs carefully taken images. You'll need to set up your camera on a tripod parallel to the wall. And for this you need to be able to move back far enough to get the hold of the wall in the shot. You then need to level the focal plane of the camera. Imagine a line running through the centre of the camera lens and another running through the body as you can see here. The camera needs to be level on each axis of rotation. Spirit levels like this that fit on the camera's hot shoe can be really useful. For the best images use a low ISO setting and a small aperture. Next the photograph will need to be corrected and scaled. For this I'm using GIMP, the free image editing software. So I've got an image open. Uh, this process is only going to work on this wall here because it's flat and it's been photographed from a camera that was approximately parallel to it. So first of all I'm going to put a couple of guides on. And this will just help me check how distorted the image is. Okay, so that's fitting quite well there. This one needs to be moved across. Now when I was on site I checked each of these walls with a plumb bob and found that they were vertical. So I'll just put a horizontal line in now. Right along the brick joint. Ah, and immediately I can see that the brick joint isn't horizontal and uh, it needs to be, it is horizontal on site, so first of all what I'll try is just rotating the, the uh, image to see if that improves how well it's fitting ok, I'll zoom in rotated ever so slightly but it's very close to being there and that's now horizontal all the way along um, but you can see here that this wall is no longer vertical that one's okay so next thing I need to do is get this corner into the right place and then I'm going, I'm going to use I'm going to use the perspective tool and this lets you drag each corner individually to correct the geometry right so I'm just going to quick transform there so you can see that that is now vertical and it hasn't altered that side and it hasn't altered the horizontal line. When you set the guides up it's very easy to see if you have any curvature to the image caused by the camera lens and there is actually a, a tool up here under filters distorts you can go down and use the, the lens distortion function to take the curvature of the lens out but in this case there is no noticeable uh, curvature there. So okay so the next thing to do is to get this to correct scale. So what I need to do is I need to measure on here two points that I know the real world distance in. So first of all I need to make sure that the measure tool is going to report back measurements in millimeters. And it is set there now so here's the measure tool. Click it on there. I'm going to drag it right across here. 
of there. So I've got a figure of 843.8 millimeters. So I'll write that down. And now I'm going to measure the height at this end. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so I can see a little better where I need to measure from. It's there. I'm going to go down to ground level. 450.5. Now I need to do a little bit of maths. So I've calculated the distance in millimetres that the real world distances will be at a scale of 1 to 10. I then divide that by the distance in millimetres that I've measured on the drawing and times it by 100. And that gives me a percentage that I need to scale the photograph so that it is correct at a scale of 1 to 10. And it tells me that the horizontal axis needs to be 36.62% of its current measurement and the vertical needs to be 38.62%. So two different factors there. So we'll go up to image, scale image. I'll just unlink that, change that to percent. So for the width we have 36.62 for the height we have 38.62 and press scale now we just need to check if the dimensions are right let's zoom in a little bit first there we go so again using the measure tool I'm just going to measure along the horizontal And that's come out at 309 millimeters. That's absolutely perfect. So now I'll do the, I'll try the vertical. 173.9. So it should be 174 millimeters. So a difference of 0.1 millimeters, which in the real world equates to one millimeter. So that's accurate enough for most purposes. Now you have a scale photograph, you can use it to either draw an elevation or to add detail to a conventionally drawn elevation. If you're going to use it in Inkscape, you need to set the resolution to 90 pixels per inch to preserve the scale. This is also important if you're printing it off to draw your elevation by hand. But if you're importing it into CAD software, you'll probably be rescaling it up to its real world size anyway, so the scale is then less important. Although a bit rough and ready, if you take care with your photography and only use it to draw detail on flat elevations, this method can reduce the time that you have to spend on site and provides a perfectly adequate level of accuracy.